<laughs> yeah. What a way to start our day, huh? Something dripped on me. <laughs> <laughs> Erica Wetter Bridges this Something morning. Something dripped on this seat just now. Oh, I just man. Felt it go yeah. Guys, I didn't scotch guard this damn uh, fabric right here. It's just kind of leaking through. What a way to start our damn day, man. I love it. Do I love the rain? It's Charlie's checking in. Erica's checking in. Hi, guys. <laughs> We're camping in Boone. Camping. I don't know if you can hear us. Hold on. Let me, let me get this. Let's get rid of this damn rain. I don't know if you can see that little ball of light. <laughs> It looks as if the sun is trying to come out. Meanwhile, Erica is here in panic mode. Not really panic mode, more like cleaning mode, huh? Flying mode. Wow, guys, fighting a losing battle. Seems like uh, it might be a little rainy today. A little wet here on, uh, out here in Seven Devils, North Carolina. It was rainy this morning. Now it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful, huh? Yes. She's really hoping for a hike or something today. And uh, yeah, man, you know, it's just so we can have something to do, man. But I'm not so sure, you know, the it's calling for rain, you know, pretty much on and off all day. Plus, you know, the rain just coming out of these trees, really. Oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think guys think, man? Got our little setup right here, man. Loving our tent right here on yet another creek. This is Granny Branch Creek. And it's still raining. Goodness gracious. <laughs> We're going to go see our friend Billy, our birthday boy Billy. They're cooking breakfast right now. We had to get our shit situated. I just want to take a quick clip while it's not raining. Let me go show you why they call this place the Smokies. Wow. Have a look, guys. Fire. Fire on the mountain. How beautiful is that, guys? All this cold rain is just burning off the hills as the day starts to warm up. Try to warm up. I don't think we're going to get out of the 70s, high 70s. But yeah, as you can see, man, it looks like the hills are on fire. As if a great massive volcano can just poof, erupt right there. And look how cool it is, man. We can have ourselves a wolf stock. What do you guys think? We can have wolf stock right there, man. Get ourselves some bands going and uh, have ourselves a good time right out here in the, the Smoky Mountains. Actually, this guy's right here I wanted to share with you. You're looking at Seven Devils. Right over here, I think they said it's called Falsco or something, the lady at the campground said. But all those hills across the street, you are looking at Seven Devils. And I wonder why they call it Seven Devils. I'm going to have to look into that. Anyways, here we are. Campground 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> what are you doing? Forgot my belt. <laughs> then I cut the rope too short. <laughs> so I had to, I had to tie what are you doing, P? Together. I didn't bring my belt. Huh? <laughs> Pity's just watching. She's like, what in the hell? She's like, I'm glad I'm not human. Be glad you don't have to wear pants. Damn you. <laughs> oh, All right. Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, God. Worked. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah, I like, got my eye on them sausages. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, Benny's been looking Oh yeah, she's all over. She's like you and me both, homie. We have that. <laughs> we have that hunger in our eyes. So, anyways, Billy, Chef Billy. Happy birthday. It's his birthday and he's cooking Happy for us. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Billy's kind of a grandpa fan too, huh? Yeah. A little bit. Him and Erica actually kind of, you know, talked about me before I actually moved in with Erica. And Billy was like, don't you watch out for that damn guy, man. Jump for that freaking Charlie Chill. But we can understand, right? I had that, you, blonde, Billy, that blue you, hair and blonde hair. And yeah. yeah, they love grandpa. Yeah. And Billy's got a TikTok too, right? What's your TikTok? Five star with a P8. Yeah, he does a lot of this kind of cooking. So, guys, I five star with a pH. Five star, <laughs> five star like fat pH pa. That's a five star. We should read his five star. Just I'm joking with you. We're gonna try this in a minute. I'm gonna give you my real review. He doesn't have a TikTok. On this, I don't have a TikTok. What? I'm not very creative. I can't do like one minute videos that are gonna pop. Well, there's 
three. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bring full 30 minutes of my day to you guys, bro. <laughs> Throw as many ads in there as I can. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Damn TikTok. I don't have a TikTok. Should I get a TikTok? All right. All right, guys. So it is still kind of raining. So we're just writing. Look, pee's on my lap, looking out the window. <laughs> And we have come across this very beautiful place and look at this bridge. This is very spooky. Oh my goodness. This is where the headless horseman walked across, stabbed Ichapon Crane almost in the heart. <laughs> and look, there's an abandoned Summon or another right there where you can go and get snake bit. And guys, look, actually the reason that we pulled down this road to look is because look, Sleepy Effing Hollow. I kind of thought maybe it was going to be like an abandoned amusement park or theme park type deal or something like that. Many of those up here in the mountains, you know, lost money and had to break, had to sell down. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> lost money, had to close down. And it's still abandoned in the mountains. Thought that was it. One of those type deals. Freaking unpleasant view. Hey, look, there's a Jeep. Yo, what up, my Jeep brother? Hey, look, man, he had a nice Jeep. He didn't even wave, man. Look, all the people with, like, the high-dollar Jeeps, they don't wave. They're not part of the, 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 the fraternity, as it were, man. It just seems like, I don't know, they're more stuck up. If you have a really nice Jeep, like a Rubicon or something like that, you're probably a snob. Back out here on Grandfather Mountain. It's very smoky up here in the Smokies this weekend. <laughs> It's just been raining, and, and as the day warms up, you know, it's, it's, it's just burning off the uh, the cool of the rain, and, and uh, what, what do they call that? Uh, condensation. Look at that. Holy cow. That is beautiful, guys. Grandfather Mountain. Or is that Seven Devils? No, that's Grandfather Mountain. That's yeah. Seven Devils over there. Wow, that is just magnificent. That's beautiful. Oh, there's another abandoned fucking something or another right there. Ooh, that's where we go get snake bit. <laughs> They're very stinky. Okay, I gotta remember where my uh, my turn is here. Wow, look at that. That is just a tremendous view, though, guys. Like North Carolina, man, God's country. Oh, and right in front of us too. Look, that's all Seven Devils over there. Seven Devils. Founded in 1969. Yeah, it's not as ominous as you would think. There's a little uh. Uh, um, sign right there, town sign, town of seven devils. It's basically just a ridge that a family bought and explored, quote unquote, explore bravely in the 1969 era, whatever, blah blah. I was expecting some from the 1800s and witches and wizards and Appalachian folklore, you know. Country road, take me home to the place I'm love, North Carolina. With me? snow tubing and zip lining. Hey, did we pass our did we pass our turn? I no, because we, we just saw this on the way. I remember that truck. Oh, peace. Welcome to Seven Devils. Discover our positive attitude. It's not really the uh, kind of motto that I would conjure up. Grandfather Mountain, open year round. <laughs> Some real pretty flowers. Mountain veg. They've done us the uh, the nicety of uh, lighting up <laughs> the rails. So yes. No, no, no drunk patrons. Over overly served patrons, you know, careen to their uh, wet injury. I mean, I probably won't die off of that bridge, but you know, probably hurt. Saw mother and father cornholing their daughters right here yesterday at the cornhole spot. <laughs> All right, which way are we going? To We're, the left. To the left. To the left. There's the campground trading post. I'll have to show you the uh, the posted opening hours. Uh, either uh, normally eight eight thirty, uh, sometimes nine or ten. Sometimes nine or ten. That's where to God is it. Normally <laughs> eight thirty. Sometimes nine or ten. I'll set this show y'all next time. Oh, red bird. Oh, pretty. Oh, it's a male, right? 
The yes. males are red, the females are brownish. Yep. Kind of like Penny. Oh, oh, oh. All this dust right here, this is all Wilson Creek dust from when <laughs> we went swimming. Dust. Yes. <laughs> Alien dust. Over there, look at that. Those, the mountains are on fire. Ooh, smoking. <laughs> right here at T76 uh, is the birthday boy, Billy. Hey, Billy. Happy birthday, Billy. Where's his... He's down there. You can't see him. I, I can't see him, but I can smell him. <laughs> smell you, brah. Smelling some bacon and sausage, Ooh. cooking up that breakfast this morning. You... <laughs> <Honky>. <laughs> yep, yeah, good spot, guys. If you're in the area, check it out. Grandfather campground on it and seven devils. Miss Cotty Wample, she's here, but she couldn't stay with us in the tent site. Ooh. She has she her, her camper. Teardrop. She's a lonely teardrop over there. Lonely teardrops. While we 69 it in the campground. Oh god. Ah. They say it was the most popular camp spot. Yeah. I wonder why. 69. Oh, yeah. This is doggy jail. You can hang out in here. <laughs> oh, we go check out the campground trading post, guys. I want to show you real quick. Are you, are you hanging out there with her for a minute? Or I think you got the money. I want to show you guys real quick. I promise I'd show you the hours. <laughs> okay, here it is. Uh, let's see here. Most days in the summer, we're here around 8.30 a.m. Others days, it may be 9 or 10. So, between 8.30 and 10. Hey, check it out. Drinking himself a Coke. A Pepsi, I should say. I'm sorry. As you guys may know or not know, man. <laughs> Certain counties here in North Carolina have banned Coca-Cola vending machines. You heard about that? Oh, oh gross. Yeah, I'm going to take care of that. Look at her, she's happy too, like, clean up my shit, clean it up, clean it up. Okay, they're watching me prance. Yeah, okay, be a little awkward. <laughs> they asked us if we had our masks. It, it, we don't have to wear masks anymore. I've been vaccinated. Early, we went in there earlier. We didn't, they, they said we didn't have to wear masks. This lady, she was kind of passive aggressive about it. Do you have masks? But no, I don't have masks. Uh, we were in here earlier. They said we didn't have to have them. And they're like, so I just felt uncomfortable. I was like, you didn't have to leave. I said, actually, I told her I was going to leave a bad review. It's like, I didn't ask you to leave. I was like, well, I feel uncomfortable. I do. I feel uncomfortable now. Like, and like, <laughs> very aggressive. So like, yes, you still have to wear a mask. Like, we're in a, like, didn't the president uh, lift the, the ban on masks? I, was, I don't understand. I just let it go. Let it go. We'll go find our quarters elsewhere. So, but yeah, this campsite, man, they will passively, aggressively attack you. If you're not wearing your mask, even though you haven't been vaccinated. The president says that you don't have to wear your mask anymore. That doesn't apply to these people. It's all discretionary. So what I told her, I said, well, the person earlier said that I can, I didn't have to wear my mask. And now you're saying that I do this kind of discretionary. I don't understand. And I'm going to leave a bad review. So here's my bad review. I apologize, guys, but I really do feel uncomfortable man i kind of <sighs> let it go charlie it's all right we're gonna take care of our clothes yeah don't worry about other people trying to force their crap on onto you you know what i'm saying yes <sighs> Woo -saw. 